Good afternoon, model fans. Welcome to another edition of Cookie Monsters Model Corner. Um, today we've got a nice old retro model of a very legendary machine, Caterpillar D11N. Um, this is a Conrad model from West Germany. And as you can see, it was considered a model and not a toy. Mostly due to the price and the intricate, heavy, sharp parts that make it so appealing to us collectors. Not so much suitable for children. So yeah, quite an old model. The real machine was introduced in 1986. So I'm assuming this model dates from approximately the same era. And uh, very nice to see a machine with the old Caterpillar logos. The little Pac-Man logo and the plain lettering. So yeah, let's crack her open and see what she's like. And it's the very light yellow color. We say quite light. You know, it's an early machine, very early model. With those unmistakable twin stacks. Even has an adjustable ripper toe, which is a nice feature for such an early model. And uh, later D11s were introduced with uh, an impact ripper, which was like a hydraulic rock hammer, uh, which had a ripping toe attached, and the hammer exerted hammer forces through the ripping toe, and greatly increased breakout force. It's such an early model. Quite an accurate decal, very small. We have plastic tracks, which was common in this era. Be very nice with metal tracks with more detail. But overall, lovely model, quite good condition. Very pleased. Nice bit of weight to it. You can see a 45 cubic yard blade, and those twin stacks which are coming out of a 34 litre or 2,105 cubic inch V8 producing 770 horsepower or 570 kilowatts for our metric friends in Germany. This machine weighed approximately 92 tons, 204,000 pounds for our American friends. And it was brought out to replace the D10 and was said to be 10% more productive. Very pleased with this model. Lovely sharp edges. Great condition. The color of the plastic rams is a little off regards the paints, the paint of the metal, as are the tracks. We don't have any cab interior detail except a basic seat. But this was standard from the time. What I am most impressed with for the time are the decals. 
Yeah. It's clear how far models have came on since these times. Late 80s. You have a nice little I'm not sure what it's called. I know the equalizer bar is basically the front axle, so I'm not sure what that bar is called. Nicely captured. We'll have a look and see if there is an equalizer bar also. And there is indeed. I'll just set it upside down and see if that actually functions. some limited movement but it's nice that it is in fact separate parts some basic transmission detail but again it's nice to see separate parts so that ladies and gentlemen it's 1986 Caterpillar D11 with a, rob, a wobbly fops guard. I don't think it's going to come off. So as always, we'll have a little comparison with another model. Just for fun. I think we'll choose something in the similar weight category which would probably be a Komatsu 475 I do love this era of retro machines the sharp square very plain styling You can see the caterpillar blade is quite a bit wider. Komatsu has a much more imposing front grill, radiator grill. But you just can't beat the look of the caterpillar high drive. We have some basic metal tracks on the Shinsey 475. Something about these old models that was nice was the very thin layer of paint always leaves sharp metal detail. Please excuse the dust. My models don't get very much TLC. But yeah, you can see the sharp detail with such thin paint. So yeah. It just about wraps up today's little model review. Hope you enjoyed it. Click subscribe if you want to see future videos. Let me know what you'd like to see. I like doing comparisons. I love retro machines. So Give me some ideas, leave a comment in the comment section. Click the notification bell on the bottom right hand side. Give me a thumbs up. Check back for new videos. I'll try and keep them coming. As always, I like a bit of variety, so it may not be a model video, but it will definitely involve machinery of some description. So if you're like me and you like machines, Click subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till the next time. Over and out.